Well, congratulations, Gary. An excellent three points against a side that will probably be there or thereabouts come the end of the season. Yeah, I think uh, both them statements are correct. Uh, they're top side, we know that. And uh, a very good three points tonight against, uh, as I say, a very useful side who've done very well so far this year, sitting top three of the conference, through the third round of the FA Cup. Ten games unbeaten, been getting bags of goals. And it was going to be a big test for us in respect of before tonight. We've uh, won four out of the last five league games and, you know, we started to gain a little bit of confidence. We've started show uh, a lot more resilient uh, performances on a consistent basis and you know first half there wasn't too much really I thought on goal scoring action but I felt that we still had the best in the first half I thought that uh, Jack Marriott uh, another day would have done a bit better with the header and I think Kevin Betsy had a left foot volley blocked but uh, they never really offered much, and I don't think that was down to they were that poor. I think that uh, we didn't let them settle. I think defensively we done very, very well. We were very solid, and we felt at half time that if we uh, kept our concentration, we would get an opportunity uh, in the second half and hopefully take that. And that's what we done. We got uh, behind them, good ball across uh, after the work done by Kieran Murray and Kevin Betsy, and uh, Scott Rendell's got on the end of it. And, you know, pleasing thing is tonight we've beaten a team that is, uh, as I say, going very well. We've extended it now to five wins out of the last six. And we've kept a clean sheet and, you know, we've changed things around a little bit um, at the back. I think that, uh, you know, it happens sometimes in football that uh, people fall below their standards or you have an injury and, you know, people get opportunities. And, you know, say, you know, Michael Sester's come in and done very well at the back with Joe McNerney and uh, just change things around a little bit and you know I think that we've got a strike force at the moment which is uh, a very good partnership up top you know you've got the, the little and large I suppose really and uh, Jack Marriott and uh, Scott Rendell and uh, they're both getting goals but as I say uh, very pleased with three points yeah. And in terms of the sort of normal games that we have against Kidderminster, which are full of sort of fast, free-flowing football, tonight was a little bit more of a cagey affair, wasn't it? And it was a moment of real, real quality, though, from Kieran Mercer to open them up, play Kevin Betsy in and hit the, that great cross for Rendell to tap home. Yeah, I think there was a very good mutual respect by both uh, sides in respect of both teams were on a good run, and I think it was a case of both teams didn't want to lose tonight, but... You know, uh, we've shown that little bit of quality from uh, Kieran Murta there, and Kevin Betts has done very well to pull it across, and Scott Rendell's got the end of it. And you know, it, it's a it's a big goal, and it's a big three points tonight. There's no secret about that, John. It's uh, a massive win for us. It's a massive boost, and uh, conditions were getting you know a little bit concerning with the fog and that at some times. And you know, uh, it was a cold night out there, and. You know, you can see people slipping and sliding at times out on the pitch, but over the 90 minutes, I think that uh, we thoroughly deserve, deserve to win the game, kept a clean sheet, and, you know, um, of course, the dressing rooms are full of confidence at the moment. And you mentioned Mike Sester. He, he was voted uh, man of the match, and he's come in and really done very well, hasn't he? He's taken his chance. He, he, he's starting to realise, I think, really, uh, John, whatever way you look at it, that, you know, that, uh, he's a young lad who's got a lot of quality, he can play left back, left side centre, uh, half position there, he can play left hand side of midfield, and he's had to sit there and wait, and all credit to him, because John Nutt has been playing very, very well, the team's been doing well, and he's come in there, and as I say, sometimes you have players who lose a little bit of form or have an injury, and there's an opportunity, and being fair to him, I think that... Uh, very good relationship and good friends with Joe McNerney off the field of play and I think that's a, a big factor as well that uh, they've certainly done very very well as the two centre halves at the present time and playing well as well as the other full backs you know we've dropped Mark Ricketts into an area and uh, very preferred position is further upfield as we know but he's very solid and uh, John Nutty Johnny Nutter is very steady and I say uh, yeah we've, we've done well we're very pleased yeah for sure 
and uh, Saturday, long away trip to North Ferryville United. Yeah. Going well in the league below, going to be a hard game. Very hard game, you know, they've done very, very well and they'll be treated with the utmost respect, no doubt about that. Be tough, we're aware of that, it'll be a tough night to crack and, uh, you know, we go there, can't turn around and dismiss the fact that we'll be favourites. But uh, it's on the day, we're fully aware of that and we are fully aware that uh, there'll be a very, very hard team to beat, but uh, we've got to be determined and hopefully keep a good run going. But as I say, cup football's cup football and we've got to make sure that we're ready for a very hard game and I'm sure we will. Lovely, thank you very much Gary. Safe journey home. Thank you.